Paris Today we go to Loewe. Jonathan Anderson does White Space, piles of confettis. Everyone is stressed out. I love being told not to go too close to the boxes when I took my seat. Will the confetti piles collapse? I would love to touch it, but we're not allowed. Naughty. Naughty. <laughs> That's so satisfying. <laughs> Clothes are blurred. Anna Wintour is focused. Kelly smile, smiles. Yeah. Two, 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 we two day flu. Coucou and Mix. Coucou Lena. Oh wow. Coucou Emrata. Coucou Dan Levy. I love the idea of illusion. Trompe l'oeil twists. Jonathan Anderson reveals everything. I maybe say this all the time, but fabric is always the starting point. Surrealism. Big time feathers. Visual tricks. I completely saw the vision. Hello, I'm Luc Prigent. Subscribe to my channel to see everything about fashion. The blockbuster shows, the emerging talents, the mood boards. Leave a comment, hit the notification bell, and we oui, subscribe. Abonnez-vous. Oh, yeah, it was beautiful. You can't put that on. It's <laughs> good TV. Yeah. We are in a white box. But no, we're inside a tent in the Chateau de Vincennes, one of the royal castles of Paris. Only a luxury brand can do this kind of trick. Ah, Lena. Coucou, Loïc. Comment ça va Ça va. J'ai fait ma boulette de la Fashion Week saisonnière. C'est-à-dire C'est-à-dire que mon assistante m'a dit que le défilé était à 10h30, mais il est à 11h30. Sauf que moi, je suis arrivée à 10h30 en panique, en pensant que j'étais en retard. Et donc, je suis arrivée comme ça. En marchant sur mes œufs, je courais comme ça, je courais sur mes œufs et je vois et les RP me regardent comme ça en mode. Guests are wearing the eccentricity of the previous Loewe show. Panier dresses but make it synthetic 21st century. The fashion supremes have to cross the drawbridge of the medieval building. The idea of being invited into a fortress, a fortress of luxury. A classic shirt, but no, it's a classic complicated shirt on Rose Bertram. The scintillating stilettos for the actress Greta Lee. A classic jumper, but make it statement jumper. The flower at the top on Emily Ratakowski. Fashion critics are invited. Here's Sabrina Champenois, French newspaper, Libération. It's where I started to write about fashion. Actress Catherine O'Hara. In France, her movie Home Alone was called Mum, I Miss the Plane. Two years later, Home Alone 2 was called Mum, I Miss the Plane Again. I wouldn't watch it if it was called Mother, I Miss the Plane. I watch it if it's called Home Alone. Uber hit girl Alexa Chung is here. We are about to breathe the same air as Jamie Dornan. Fans are lining up outside and start seriously screaming for the K-pop band NMX. The seven members of NMX were later signed as official global ambassadors for Loewe. Pop idol Young also gets the screaming treatment. He's also a global ambassador for Loewe, which is a new strategy for the brand, a sign of global ambitions. The Spanish icon Bad Gyal, she's part of the Loewe creative community. Just like Brit actor Josh O'Connor. Sprint world champion Dina Asher-Smith. Forever Muse, Lia Kebede. If you're watching this, you are forever amused too. From London, the three flow band members get the crowd excited. Arriving last is Naomi Campbell, laughing at the idea of anyone daring to arrive after her. <laughs> Naomi crosses the medieval drawbridge. They can now raise the drawbridge fill the moats with liquid gold. The Chateau de Vincennes can hold a siege. The fashion circles are here. Ah non mince, Paola Locatelli is running late. Oh la la, Queen Naomi is not the last one to arrive. Inside, piles of confettis. It's an intervention by the artist Lara Favaretto. She calls this momentary monuments. It's about decay, obsolescence, beauty of colors, loss, change, absurdity, balance, La vie quoi, life. I enjoyed asking about it to my fellow guests. C'est des confettis compressés pendant 8 heures. Et si tu passes un peu trop près, ça tombe. Et on a vu une invitée là-bas qui a fait tomber un petit peu de confettis bleus. Je dirais pas qui, hein. Donc ça se trouve, les mannequins pendant qu'elles vont défiler, elles vont faire ksha et les confettis vont voler. Il y aurait plein de. Oh, et c'est une pignata géante en fait. That's crazy. That's so satisfying. <laughs> I just want to jump in there. <laughs> I got to interview the artist Lara Favaretto, who did the piles of confettis. 
Uh, well, Laura's interested in sort of the space between monumentality and ruin, and she often uses materials that uh, fall apart or change over time. So she's interested in this idea of aiming for perfection, but actually accepting the inevitable collapse. So this work comprises 10 tons of confetti, which has been compressed by humans into 21 cubes, completely without glue, or without armatures, and uh, allows it to completely fall apart. Six members of NMIG sit in the first row. One of them is missing, I know. They wave to a lot of international media platforms. I said, silence! Without warning, without music, Shiru Yang opens the show. All eyes on her. The music starts a few seconds later. A very René Magritte moment. This is not a vintage dress from the 1940s, but it's a vintage dress from the 1940s, blurrily printed on a dress. I had saw an amazing picture by Richter of tulips, and I was thinking about the psychology of the idea of the blur, of things coming into focus. In the audience, they will see it as a, a silk dress, whereas online you see it in focus, coming out of focus as it comes towards you. And I, and I quite like that it, it tricks you. A blur. Tell Fashion me. can be a blur, it's very fast. <laughs> the garment in the garment, the image in the image. Oh, please call Pierre Bourdieu, Jacques Derrida and Didier Ribon. I love the idea of illusion. I feel like we're like getting to a point where like, is anything real anymore? <laughs> so the idea of these dresses coming out with kind of a dress on a dress, but the dress is slightly blurry and what's real and what's not, and we have cubes disappearing in front of our eyes, it's like, why not? This is not fur on Ralph Crane Robinson, nor on Sacha Mar. This is a blurry representation of them printed on brand new dresses. The cut and paste of fashion made visible or well blurry. And my favorite was the trench, obviously. <laughs> the trench printed on the dress. This is not a trench coat on Vittoria Charity, but a dress with a representation of a trench. How to elevate the classic when it's worth being shown on a supermodel on a catwalk. On Angelina Kendall, the metallic chain of the bag is used to create a draping, a drapé. I like this idea that it is a shirt, it's a bag action on a shirt. What's your point of view on the huge bags? Love. Because often I have to kill time, and if I have a bigger bag to lose my keys in it, it's just like, if I don't want to see someone, then I can be like... It actually comes from an old bag that we used to have in early 90s, and which is like where the puzzle bag came from. And I just thought, blow it up and bring it back out. Jonathan Anderson seems to be obsessed by the fluidity, the versatility, the verticality of drapings especially since his Lueve collection, inspired by the Italian mannerist painter Jacopo da Pontormo. I just wanted the idea of fabric draped on a nail. You know, like a big brass nail and then fabric. In fashion, the feathers cliché today tends to be delicate, fragile ostrich floating on a silk jewel. Here, no. Goose feathers arranged like on a bird and on the most simple t-shirt, but on the legendary Julian Obis. Les pantalons à plumes, les pantalons à plumes, incroyable. The feathers become a fabric, they become less decorative than a trim, it becomes more of like a solid. On the most simple denim, but on our idol Loli Baya. A sweater that becomes a draping for Agé Lacolle. Draping being the idea of the antique, the religious, the art history, the mannerism. Victoria Fawol, the cardigans look like classic cardigans, but Jonathan Anderson has something to reveal about them. Did you notice the stickers? Is it stickers? Yeah. What do you mean? It's stickers? like a sticker. Ah, what? Ouais? Ah, okay. So you can peel them off? Yeah, the sticker on. Okay, nice. The real cardigan has unreal proportions, engulfing the model Yoni Chin in virginal cashmere knit. Here comes the Lueve Playmobiles. They're molded and in a special leather, which is actually the super initial specialty of Lueve, the brand. Quiet luxury shapes and colors, and the least quiet but most luxurious garments. Where in the last show we had a glitch, which was a pixel, I like this idea of like 
the doll. This boyishness of the shirt and these, they're like kind of like wedding pictures. Mona Tugard in one of the fashion moments of 2023. The garment is a silhouette. The silhouette is an attitude. The position of the arm becomes part of it all. Le geste. The whole idea of gestures. Gestures holding, like the defense, the seduction. Ken Lang Wang wrapped, a draping done by the model. Lolibaya returns as a vestal. Le geste et la pureté. Alice Boutors, solarized, solarisé. Anouk Smith closes the show. Not the most dramatic number, but quite a clever one, with Vavavum fabric draped with the help of a golden chain. I just love how varied it is, how he brings in so many different influences, and he's that sort of cross-contamination between the art world and fashion. I, nobody does it like him, you know. I think he's, I think he's a genius, genuinely. I love what he's doing. I love what he did. Jonathan's amazing. Genius. Pockets, workwear pens, casual hoodie, Jonathan Anderson takes 20 steps. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, stop! He's backstage again. Okay. Backstage, it's greetings mayhem. More congratulations than 20 weddings. We can do like a in the middle. Or Congratulations on the show. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Right. There we go. Thank you so much. You like the colors? Oh, yes, it's beautiful here. Yeah. We love it. Thank you. Thank you for How's inviting us. You no, know, you're more than welcome. Finally, we get you a show. Oh, yes. So, so yeah. Excited. Well, selfie queen. <laughs> Can I ask you how was the show? Oh, oh, it was so good. Oh yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. What did yeah. you notice in the collection? What did you like? Oh, I liked the glittery, the glittery suits. Voila, this was my Louis report for winter 2023 and 24. Please do write, I feel like a forever muse in the comments if you watched till the end. Subscribe to my channel to see everything about fashion and to feel your visual mood board. Make sure to watch my other videos, like the one about the paintings by Fragonard in the Louvre. Cheers! C'est de la joie, c'est quoi alors Ouais, c'est de la joie.